A Wider World is brought to you by FirstToServe.com, a provider of prosthetics, orthotics, and home medical equipment. FirstToServe.com, an online store to serve your home health care needs. GM Mobility will help you get there. Now with the security of OnStar, providing services within the disabled community. The Paralyzed Veterans of America is an advocate for health care, research, and civil rights, serving veterans since 1946. Hello and welcome to A Wider World, the show in ability. I'm Elizabeth Kelly. Here in the United States, childhood obesity is a major health crisis. Recent studies have found that one-third of U.S. children and two-thirds of adults are classified as overweight or obese. These conditions are often made worse by the resulting decreased mobility which can accompany obesity. And childhood obesity has been shown to be a clear gateway that leads to adult obesity. Enter the Organ Wise Guys, a school-based curriculum which utilizes entertaining, interactive multimedia material to educate children about making healthy choices. Built around the core principles of eating low-fat, high-fiber foods, drinking lots of water, and getting plenty of exercise, children are learning about healthy lifestyles and how healthy choices made today will impact their future health. To see the Organ Wise Guys in action, we're traveling to the great state of New Mexico. Here are the Organ Wise guys working with Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Mexico, New Mexico State University's Cooperative Extension Services, New Mexico Public Broadcast Stations, particularly KRWG and KENW, along with New Mexico Public Schools and state and local governments, are making significant progress in transforming the way children eat and live. Let's take a closer look at how this fantastic program is working to create a brighter, healthier future for all Americans. We're super cool. We're out of sight. We keep your body running right. We vocalize. We dramatize. Metabolize and harmonize. And every show's a big surprise. I'm Hardy Hart, the leader of the Organ Wise Guys, and this is Perry Stolick, the large intestine. Whoa! Perry, come on! No, no, I'm too nervous. I don't have the guts to come out. Guts? But Perry, you are guts. What? Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're right, good point. Hi, everybody. I'm Perry Stolick. We are so pleased that your school is interested in becoming Organ Wise. Yeah, so we'd like you to meet the... I'm Dr. Michelle Lombardo, and I'm the president of the Organ Wise Guys Incorporated. I was a chiropractor for 10 years in Atlanta, lecturing to our patients all about health and wellness. And one of our patients um, knew the president of Kroger Grocery Store. They started funding our program in Georgia, but it was all adults. And as we were out there teaching adults, telling them chronic disease takes 20, 30, 40, 50 years to develop, they were saying, well, what about our kids? So we went home that night, sat around our living room. One of our really good friends is an illustrator. He's been our illustrator ever since. And we came up with the Organ Wise Guys. Their names are Sid and Kid Kidney, also known as the Kidney Brothers, and they are so funny! And this is Madam Muscle and her best friend, Kelsey M. Bone. These two girls are all about being strong role models. Uh-huh. If you ever need to find out any information on just about any topic, well, Cerebrum the Brain is your guy. Yep, and whenever I hear the phrase, a breath of fresh air, my good friend Wendy, the lungs, is who I think about. Yeah, and then there's Pepto the stomach, and Peter Pancreas, and Luigi liver, and they're always ready to digest and process all kinds of information. Right. We call ourselves the Organ Wise Guys, and our motto is, we, we love, love who, who we live, live in, in, so please take, take care, care of us. us. So once we came up with the idea of having um, organs for children, we started doing school assemblies. So how I got involved with the W.K. Kellogg Foundation, I'm from Michigan originally. I wanted to share with them our first new book, 
And I went up there, told them all about what we were doing in Georgia and said, hey, do you guys want to give us about a million dollars to do TV? They were like, hey, no. <laughs> but over the years, they said they liked the idea, but they wanted to see it involved in a community, working with public health, working with university systems, which I started doing in Georgia. And they eventually funded a pilot program in Mississippi with the Mississippi Food Network. And that's kind of where the program really evolved with teachers, working with Extension, working with the USDA food programs. That model started in Mississippi, which has turned into what is now the Oregon Wise Guys Comprehensive School Program. What I like doing is helping kids feel good about themselves. And I think that's one of the reasons the program works so well is because Hardy and them are always telling the kids, man, you're smart. Man, you're gonna be in business for yourself someday. And the kids really take pride in themselves. And I believe that's what leads to making healthy choices. The way we use the DVDs in the schools, they're about 15 to 20 minutes in length, depending on what episode. And we've just recently, with another grant from the Kellogg Foundation and the Oliver Foundation, added an exercise component at the end of them. So it's a, a reward for the children. And there's so much humor in there for adults and kids that they will watch them over and over again. The shorts are 72 vignettes that are exactly 30 and 60 seconds in length. And what we're really excited about is these are now airing, um, thanks to American American public television free of charge to any public um, television station in the country. That's how we're going to get it out into the parents' homes and into the family homes. They're fun, they're short, but they're just PSAs that teach kids about eating low fat, high fiber, lots of water and exercise. Part of our curriculum here at Coach ID is that we integrate health into our physical education program. We use the Oregon Wise curriculum to coincide with our physical education curriculum. It takes health and it really condenses it. I like the four rules that it states that are here behind me. Um, the, the rules are very simple to follow and they're pretty cut and dry. So it really narrows it down for, for kids to follow and use and it kind of breaks health down so that they can understand it and apply it to their lives pretty easily. What I love is the characters that the kids relate to. They're able to remember the organs through those characters. The stories um, are just really effective with the kids. There's games, all these things really provide us with um, an easy, easy job of teaching what's so important. The Oregon Wise Guys have given me a framework to be able to get health implemented in every lesson that I'm teaching in PE. It's just right there how we're taking care of our heart as we run, how we are um, taking care of our kidneys as we drink water, and different concepts like that make it easy to apply. Um, our students today live in a very competitive world and they need to perform at a high level academically as well as socially as well as athletically if they happen to be in that and I just think that the, the more we can do from the educational standpoint on nutrition the more that our students uh, are going to have an ability to perform at a high level and that's a very positive thing. If we can teach our kids at a young age that what you put in your body matters uh, their wellness and their well-being is going to be positively influenced not just as, as students but throughout their lives. We've worked with Oregon Wise Guys now over the last year and it's been really exciting to see the reaction to this program. I think more people are realizing that nutrition is incredibly important for kids. Oregon Wise Guys on public television drives home, I think, the healthy messages that we need to share, and we have a responsibility to do that as public broadcasters. In between some of our most popular children's programming, we've been able to play the Oregon Wise Guys messages. Low fat, high fiber, lots of water and exercise, four very smart and healthy ideas from the Oregon Wise Guys. And here's another one. Keep your bones moving. Shake, shake, shake. Keep your bones grooving. Shake, shake, shake. Keep your bones living. Jive, jive, jive. Keep your bones spinning. Dive, dive, dive. Keep your bones winning. Slide, slide, slide. Bones that move grow stronger every day. 
one of the advantages of having KRWG at New Mexico State University is that we have a variety of different resources at the university, including the Cooperative Extension Service. And working with them, as well as working with Oregon Wise Guys, we were able to really put a plan of action together in order to get this program out via the airwaves. The Cooperative Extension Service has 40 years of experience working in nutrition. We traditionally have gone into families' homes to teach them healthy ways to buy food and prepare food. We've more recently starting, started working with adults in group settings and then also in schools. Our collaboration with Oregon Wise Guys has been very helpful. It's enabled Extension to get a wider reach into a larger number of schools, into more classrooms in those schools, and so therefore there's a lot more exposure. The kids are seeing the messages in the cafeteria, they're hearing them in PE, they're getting them in their classroom, they're even getting them at home if they're watching the interstitials that KRWG is airing for us, our public television station. Hey kids! Hey Sid! Repeat after me! Okay. Low fat. Low fat. High fiber. High fiber. Lots of water. Lots of water. Exercise. Exercise. You got it! You got it! Now here's one more great tip. Now here's one more great tip. From your friends, the Organ Wise Guys. From your friends, the Organ Wise Guys. Okay, stop. Okay, stop. No, don't do it. No, don't do it. Hardy, mi amigo, ready to go to the park and play? Just a minute! That's a great game of kickball starting in the park. Wait, 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 wait. I need my stickers. Stickers? ¿Qué dices? This is kickball. You don't need stickers. You just need your feet. Oh, I know. But I need my stickers to mark my exercise chart. Charts? I know. With Oregon Wise Guys, we've been able to recruit about 40 schools in the state. And so they're now participating and um, implementing Oregon Wise on their own. We actually don't send our educators into those schools, so our educators can then work in a supplemental role or with other locations or with adults. We have a lot of food insecurity as well in New Mexico. Families really don't have enough to eat, and so they turn to um, convenience foods that tend to be cheaper, and those often are the foods that will lead to weight gain. So everything is really connected. And so OrganWise actually can teach you ways to buy vegetables and fruits that are not gonna break your budget. Um, so that you can have those healthier snack foods available throughout the month. And that's addressing food insecurity at the same time that it's addressing obesity prevention. Oregon Wise Guys is part of a larger project called Healthy Kids Las Cruces, which has been spearheaded by the Department of Health and a variety of other statewide agencies. We've also had some really good um, input and feedback from the local government um, in the case of our mayor here in Las Cruces. And that's also been helpful support in other parts of the state. I'm the mayor of Las Cruces, New Mexico. And um, I was asked a couple years ago to see how I might be able to help with the uh, Healthy Kids Initiative. And, and one thing led to another, and that's how we kind of evolved the uh, Mayor's Award on the 5 to 1 Fitness and Nutrition Program. I think the Oregon Wise Guys, the fact that you're able to actually let the children see how each organ is in the body and how it works with one another, I think it really lends itself to fit really well with our program. So I'm really appreciative of the fact that whoever created the Oregon Wise Guy is really doing a great job. You can't put a price on health. Uh, and, and I think it's important that, that although a healthier body, healthier uh, nutrition will lend itself to being a reduction in, in healthcare costs, more importantly, it also allows yourself to have a better quality of life. And, and I think that's really what we want for our children. We, we, we cherish their, their future and we want to make sure that they have the best that they can possibly have. And eating and exercising is, is an integral part of that. The Oregon Wise Guys Comprehensive School Program is what I have found to be one of the best programs to address obesity prevention in schools. It's comprehensive in its nature and it's matched to the core standards in every state where the program is implemented. The fact that it has a classroom-based curriculum that addresses nutrition and physical activity, it has a component about nutrient-rich foods that is available to get the cafeteria and the front of the schools, which is what I talk about with respect to the classrooms, working together on important nutrition issues. Well, childhood obesity is a serious health crisis here in the United States and increasingly throughout the world. Um, we, we know that the issues related to childhood obesity have a strong impact on future quality of life as an adult. We also know that children who are hungry and don't get nutritionally sound food don't perform as well during a school day. I feel that one of the best ways to reach children and to teach them about good nutrition and physical activity is to do this during the school day. Children spend the majority of their hours each day in school 
They're in school most days throughout the year, and schools are in every community throughout the United States. And so the ability to reach large numbers of children with important obesity prevention messages is very easy in the school setting. I had the opportunity to do a large study that tested the effectiveness of the Oregon Wise Guys program with respect to improvements in health and academic achievement of young children. This study ended up being a four and a half year study across seven states with 40,000 children. And it was recently published in some of the top tier journals, including the Journal of the American Dietetic Association and the American Journal of Public Health. The schools that participated in the program had on average higher academic test scores. And these were based on using standardized test scores that were administered by the state. Childhood hypertension is one of many chronic conditions that's associated with childhood obesity. It's often one that's overlooked, even in the clinical setting. But it's very important that we address the hypertension as well as the, just the weight issue in general. Because if it's not addressed in early childhood, then when these children become adults, they're gonna have severe cardiovascular and other chronic disease conditions. They might not have been actively addressing this or thinking about the reduction of their blood pressure because they probably don't know that they were hypertensive. But the fact that they were participating in this program that taught them about healthy eating, about the benefits of physical activity, and gave them nutrient-rich foods during their school-provided meals resulted in this reduction in blood pressure to a significant extent. We really need to invest now in the prevention aspects of healthcare. We have to prevent chronic diseases so we don't pay for them on down the road. And one of the most effective ways that I have seen for addressing the prevention aspect with early ch young children is through school-based interventions. I collaborate services with New Mexico State University Extension Services. What we do is promote the Oregon Wise Guys into the state of New Mexico. Since it started last year in Las Cruces as a pilot uh, program, we want to introduce it into other parts of the state, especially the rural and metro areas of New Mexico. We introduce the program to, uh, to the school personnel, teachers, PE coaches, principals, assistant principals, uh, even uh, cafeteria staff. We introduce it to see if they could in, uh, incorporate it into the curriculum. They, in turn, if they accept, they introduce it to the students which in turn, they introduce it to the parents, and it just has a domino effect. We're introducing the program into the Navajo Nation and Pueblos of New Mexico. What a lot of people do not know is the Native American population has a lot of problems with obesity and diabetes. So now that the program is being introduced, people are showing interest in getting the program introduced into the schools. I'm the Director of Corporate Community Involvement for Healthcare Service Corporation, which does business as the Blue Cross Blue Shield plans of Illinois, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Texas. We decided to partner with the Oregon Wise Guys program because they had actually statistically relevant results that showed that they'd been able to impact children's BMI percentiles. It was very important to us that we have some kind of program that had demonstrable data to support its impact. There's many, many, many great childhood obesity programs and public health related programs available. So if we were going to invest our corporate dollars in, in our four states, we wanted to make sure that we were doing so with a program that really could move the needle on childhood obesity. In, New Mexico, we have a very large Hispanic population, and, and we also have a Native American population. So we needed to be able to have that kind of flexibility to respond to local needs and to tap into local existing programs. When we went to partner with the Oregon Wise Guys program, it was critical for us that we find some kind of program that could really be implemented through different kinds of environments and in different kinds of community collaborations. And we're able to do this by partnering with the schools. One of the things I love best about the Oregon Wise Guys program is that it uses humor and activity and creativity to teach children about how to take care of their own health. And at the same time, because the characters are entertaining and lighthearted, it keeps that element of creativity alive in the classroom at the same time. We know that we can't alone address the childhood obesity issue in the state of New Mexico. So by partnering with New Mexico State University, and particularly with the USDA Extension Service program down there, we're able to really create a win-win model that allows us to really leverage community resources to really achieve a long-term end. 
the goal, of course, is to improve children's fitness and nutrition. And I actually prefer that term to childhood obesity because we're talking about helping children understand better how to live a more healthy life. Um, Jillian's a, a big inspiration for our other fourth graders. Um, once he started the program, he got upbeat, has more energy. They saw him um, when he didn't have that and then when he did change. And so they would talk to Julian, and Julian did a great job in explaining what he had to do to change, I guess, his lifestyle around, pretty much. I like the changes with uh, my grandson. Yes, he's led a lot of weight. He used to weigh uh, 208, now he uh, weighed 157. At the same time, it's fun for them, and at the same time, it's, it's good for them for their health because they do a lot of exercises. That's what we want the Oregon Wise Guys to be, just a part of a child's everyday life, where they're getting it at school, it can be in the doctor's offices, it can be just, they have Oregon Wise parties at home where they just little by little make healthy choices and it'll make a difference in their lives. We found funders, for instance, like the different Blue Cross Blue Shields, and they want to help with this obesity problem as well, but they don't have the manpower. So the best thing is, is hooking them up with the university extension folks and saying, hey, they want to fund a program, you want to do a program, Program. This program now is science-based, we know it works, it's cost-effective, and it's a win for everybody. And the key for making the teachers a part of it is making it an easy part of their job. So when they are doing an Oregon Wise Guys program, they might be graphing calcium bone, how much calcium they had, but it's a math program. Or they might be um, doing writing a persuasive language a language arts lesson, but they're writing why their city needs a healthy fast food restaurant. So what we've done is we've been able to weave, with the help of teachers, the nutrition education into core curriculum. And if we can get them to start exercising more, eating healthy, their choices in all parts of their lives are going to be better because they're going to feel better about themselves and they're just going to be able to be more productive. With the help of Hardy Hart and his pals, the Oregon Wise Guys are reaching thousands of New Mexico children each year and making a difference. And thanks to the support of organizations like the W.K. Kellogg Foundation, Healthcare Service Corporation, participating Blue Cross Blue Shield organizations, local and regional foundations, as well as cooperative extension services throughout the U.S., the Oregon Wise Guys entertaining evidence-based program is appearing in schools and homes nationwide. For more information on how to bring the Oregon Wise Guys program to your school, check out OregonWiseGuys.com. Now the toughest thing about an exercise program is to get started. So throughout this season, we will feature Jordan's Gym with Jordan Levin. Jordan will have some great tips for incorporating exercise into your life, even if you have mobility challenges. So let's get moving with Jordan. Hello, I'm Jordan Levin. This is Dee and Eric. It is important to keep your legs in tip-top shape so that they can do their job properly and to improve circulation. Here are some easy ways to warm up those legs and feet before moving about. Leg extensions are important to strengthen knees and lower leg. These exercises can be done either from a sitting or standing position. Sit up straight in the chair and lift one leg straight out and then place your foot back on the floor. Now you can do the same thing with the other leg. Please go ahead and alternate three or four times. When you're in the standing position, you can stand beside the chair, hold it down with one hand, bend and lift the knee and extend. It is important to exercise the toes and feet as well. These exercises can be done either from a standing or sitting position. You can do toe raises, standing behind the chair, holding on for support when necessary. The feet should be hip width apart, pointing straight ahead. Raise the body by lifting the heels from the floor, going on to the balls of the feet. Return to the study position and repeat. Six to eight times. A more advanced exercise of toe raises is just to simply do one leg at a time. Another variation of toes we can do toe raises is to go ahead, hold your leg up, and, and bring your toes 
back towards you here and back up. Back and forth. Right there, here. Right here? Yes. Okay. You could also do the same thing on the other leg as well. Okay. What you do is you're stretching out the calves and the shins. Is mm -hmm. good? Mm -hmm. Good. Remember, muscles like to be worked and stretched. Making muscles stronger protects your joints and improves your bones. Good job. That's our exercise tip for today. Thanks for working out with the wider world. Well, that was fun. I feel healthier already. And that's our show for today. Thank you for watching A Wider World, The Show and Ability. You can check out some of your favorite stories from past shows on the web at youtube.com slash a wider world. Email your comments and questions to us at access at a wider world.com. See you next week. Oh, and don't forget to support your local PBS station. A Wider World is brought to you by FirstToServe.com, a provider of prosthetics, orthotics, and home medical equipment. FirstToServe.com, an online store to serve your home health care needs. GM Mobility will help you get there. Now with the security of OnStar, providing services within the disabled community. The Paralyzed Veterans of America is an advocate for health care, research, and civil rights, serving veterans since 1946.